It is outrageous and wrong that people who were caught up in the ITAI scandal of the post office, the post office horizon scandal, um, post masters and post mistresses, sub post masters, sub post mistresses, who were then accused of theft and some of them were imprisoned, they had their lives ruined, all because of an aberrant AI, all because of a computer glitch. And having identified that, having um, released people from prison, it's time for compensation. And the fact that this happened back in 2014, it's now nearly 10 years later and there are still people who haven't received compensation. There are still people whose lives have not been put back together because of the desultory and dilatory uh, attitude of the government. If this were uh, Suella Bravman, if this were Rishi Sunak, they wouldn't stand for this delay. They would expect something to have happened. Nothing has happened because the present government only cares for itself. It is shocking, utterly shocking. And we need to... We need to make sure either the post office works for the people who work for it, either the post office is honourable, and if the post office is not honourable, why do we trust our letters to a dishonourable and completely um, unaccountable system? Why do we trust our important mail to a system uh, that cannot do the right thing? That's the question, really. Why should we trust the Royal Mail. Why should we trust the post office? I don't think I do.